After a two year wait, more than a million dollars in renovations to a facility for homeless veterans are now complete. The Eastern Carolina Housing Organization serves people across 16 counties. News 13's Jackie Labrizzi spoke with one veteran today who says this transition home has given him a new life. Nardmore currently houses 40 veterans. Almost 600 have gone through the program so far and now have permanent housing. It's a home away from home, then given a better grip on life so he can make it through life. You know, that's the way I look at it. You know? Vietnam Army veteran Daniel Brunson says he's called Nardmore home for the last three months. Brunson says he was experiencing challenges when a Georgetown commander recommended this transition home. A home away from home, you know, they, they treat you like here, like your home. You know, they take care of you. You know, they, all you got to do is just follow the rules and regulation, you know, and, you know, everything will be all right. You know, the program here, you know, starting your life all over again. And it's, you know, to me, it's wonderful. Brunson says in just a few weeks, he'll be able to get permanent housing in Merle's Inlet. He says he's going to miss the friends he's made and the good food. The veterans at Nardmore are given three meals a day in their newly retooled kitchen. But CEO of Echo Joey Smoke says that's not all. Because of their funds and a capital grant from the VA, their facility just finished a $1.3 million renovation covering new roofing and floors. Smoke told News 13 he wants to help others get off the streets because somebody helped him. Nine out of ten vets that have been here, they're substance use and other mental health issues. You know, and you got combat vets to bring PTSD and everything else into it. Smoke says according to one survey, Horry County has the most homeless veterans in the country for its population, but that too is growing. He says their building was a nursing home and assisted living center before sitting vacant for years. They bought it in 2019. The people that ran it, managed it, left overnight, took half the residents, left some of them in here. When we came in up in the top where the HVAC systems we had to replace, their personal records were just scattered all over the floor, and I'm like, oh, my God. Smoke says while they're not a health care facility, it's important to them to support the vets and even hire them within. He says half their staff were formerly homeless and people in recovery. Smoke says they have a lot more in the works, including converting six offices into efficiency apartments for those who are not ready to leave Nardmore once they reach their number of days to stay. Reporting in Myrtle Beach, Jackie Labrizzi, News 13.